inches. That'll be a first down. First down to the 29 yard line. Goff now to throw. They're connecting here with DJ Shark. So five yards here, five on the play. And that's going to bring up second down. Off a handoff here to Swift. And this will wind up a Lions first down as the tackle made just shy of the 40. Swift split carries down the middle with Jamal Williams in 2021, but he's one of Detroit's busiest players in the passing game. He caught 62 passes, second on the team, and fourth among NFL running backs. His showing could convince the Lions to make him their RB1. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. Taken down at the 42. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out. And they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Here's gone. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Partner, what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. Facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. There's gone. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 39. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Back to the running game with Swift. He'll get a nice jump there on the first down run, and it's second and four. That's a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. On second down and four, golf. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And he'll be hauled down at about the 30-yard line. That might feel like a little bit of a lost opportunity there for the offense because the defense brought pressure that time. And sometimes against that, you can get out to your running back, and it could turn into a big game downfield. But what a nice job they did getting to him quickly and holding him to a short game. And they'll let their fullback try to push the pile. And he will have the first down, but he winds up taking a pretty good shot that time. Give him the third down conversion, five yards on the play. The wall didn't work very well on that play. Defenders on third and short know it's going to be a quick read. And really, the quarterback's just going to turn around and hand it off. So that way, you're able to diagnose the play and try and get to the point of attack. But when you're dealing with a fullback, it's hard to knock him backwards. First and ten at Swift. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. What a play there by Fletcher Cox to get in and knock him down behind the line. I'm getting the sense that Fletcher Cox is making offensive linemen want to take the week off when they have to play against him. <laughs> it's a regular routine for him, isn't it? It really is. That play there, that's him all day long. Good luck trying to block him and keep him from disrupting your offense.
Here's Goff now on second down. Looking for right, and he finds him. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. A good pick up there, 26 yards. And coming into this ball game, this was an offense that wasn't just talking about the notion of ball control. They were preaching it. They wanted to win the time of possession battle, and they've done so here. This drive's taken up quite a bit in the first quarter. Now they are set up first and goal. A chance for their first points of the season here as it's first and goal. After one, seven, nothing on the A Sports. Start the drive down the middle and complete. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. Heck of a start. A 30-yard pickup on their first play from scrimmage. That's a real nice job right there. Working the middle of the field, working against those safeties. And you know, partner, if you get your hips turned the wrong way, big plays can result. And a big play resulted right there. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield. It's first and 10 from the 45. Back to throw here. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. And they'll get this down to the 42-yard line. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice session, got a man that's caught at the six-yard line. A big play there for Philly. And even 40 yards. And that seemed to me to be all about trusting your receiver. No doubt about it, because when you put that ball in the air, I will guarantee you everyone who's watching this game right now thought, that's up for grabs. But this is a lot of practice time. As you mentioned, a ton of trust. And he knows how good this guy is. So to him, it wasn't up for grabs. To him, it was a big play waiting to happen. And he's in. Touchdown, Eagles. Miles Sanders taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles have taken the lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's got it. It's now a 14-7 ball game. Makes the score Eagles 14, Lions 7. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no return on this one as the fair catch is signal for and taken. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. A long drive last time out for this offense, Charles. If you remember, they started basically in the shadows of their own end zone, marched it down the field, and a lot of that was through the passing game. And partner, as a former defensive back, I'm having almost a physical reaction watching what's happening right now. But let's give credit where it's due because they've done an excellent job moving the ball through the air. Secondary getting picked apart pass by pass. 
obviously, they need to make some adjustments there on the back end. Yeah, because offensively, we know that they're not going to be shy about throwing that football. So from the 36 now, first and 10. To throw is gone. Ball hit as he throws there, incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he wanted to. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Now it's gone. Right side to Williams. Four yards the gain, and it'll bring up a third down. Oh, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line. But once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Throwing on third, gone. He's airing it out for Williams. They got his man complete. And they've got this down to about the 12 yard line. And they made no bones about it. They wanted to throw this rookie right into the fire, see what he could do. He shows what he can do there. And you have to really put the time and effort in because playing a receiver in the NFL is a difficult task. And for a rookie, all that you have to learn to get on the same page with your quarterback, that's excellent coaching, and how about how he's picked things up? Picking things up in a big way with a big play in his NFL debut. To the sideline, and that is a heck of a catch as he was able to get both feet in. Ten more there and another first down. How about the way they're moving the ball down the field? They had a big play a moment ago. Followed up with another nice one here, and before you know it, they're already looking at first and goal. Swift is into the end zone. And touchdown, Lions. CD for them. This has just been an offensive explosion here in the second quarter. Yeah, it helped scoreless in the first quarter. Now they find the end zone again here in the second. Sometimes you just have to have some patience. A lot of people think it's always an adjustment. You have to change what you're doing. Sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better. And I think that's part of what we're seeing here. Point after, right down the middle. And we are tied at 14. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. Taken in at the three. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. But right now, we've got a little bit of an offensive masterpiece going on. Both sides moving the football, scoring points. It's almost like somebody put the defense on rookie mode in this one. And we haven't even left the first half, Charles, and we're certainly on pace for a shootout. An excellent start for both offenses. The fans have to be enjoying this to see all these points go up on the board. As a former defender, you know I'm not enjoying this at all. But right now, both these teams just trading haymakers. Let's see if anyone slips up first. Can anyone counter with a nice little jab and get things going in their direction? They tried to throw on second down, unsuccessful. Now it's third and one. He'll look to throw. But it's caught on the right side at Smith. 
And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. Throw on first down with Hurts. Goes right back to Smith again. Yeah, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. And this was a nice example of an offensive coordinator scheming his guy open. Just a little underneath route, just trying to free up some space, and it worked awfully well. Got him not just space, but plenty of room to run after the catch to pick up really nice yardage. So the ball moves into Lion territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 30-yard line. Back to throw again. Going across the middle, and Goddard's got it. And he's got a first down there after a gain of about 12, as the clock will stop right now for the two-minute warning. zone now they'll look to throw and this is going to be intercepted and the Lions are going to take possession here it's a touchback and they'll take over at the 20 yard line definitely not the ideal time to see that mistake partner because this is still a one possession game and that's at least a field goal that just vanished with that turnover now pressure's on defensively to prevent that pick from turning into points for the other side the Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And as the offense begins another drive here, uh, pretty simple, Charles. They want to carbon copy what happened the last time out when they ended their drive in the end zone. You're right about that, partner. Sounds pretty simple, doesn't it? Just score again, but we know it's not that simple because we don't just make adjustments at halftime if you're a good football team. You spend that time on the sideline, you study what's on the notes and the tablets, and you make those adjustments to prevent a repeat of the last drive. Series to series, the best teams, that's how they get it done. And we'll find out here soon enough whether those adjustments are enough defensively. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Goff now looking to throw. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. A good hands there defensively at second down. So much of this game is about leverage. We always talk about low man wins in the trenches. Most like that at just about every position. And sometimes, if you lose that leverage and you're losing the battle, just jump up at the line of scrimmage and try and bat the ball away. And that's exactly what happened there. To throw again on second down. Golf. Throw over the middle. He finds Williams. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. He kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. Goff wants to throw on third and one. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. That's a big conversion there on third down because they did not want to get the ball up here late in the half. They'd love to take the clock all the way down and score. This will definitely help the cause. A pair of first downs gives him a first and 10 up at the 44. Again, golf. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. Well, they've been back on the heels a little bit here in this drive. But a chance to exhale just a little bit there with incompletion on first down. Now they have to gear up, try and get two more stops, and escape this drive. 
So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. Golf. And that throw behind his man. He missed him incomplete. Trying to find Jamison Williams. And that takes us from second to third down. Oh, they'll certainly be on the top. What's going over that one for sure? Clearly, they were expecting something else out of the defense and couldn't adjust to make that completion happen. Now play number seven of the drive as they're looking at a third and ten. Shotgun snap for goal. That's going to be caught by Josh Reynolds. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 ticks to go in this first half. Good strong throw catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. loses the football and it's picked up by the Eagles and a return across midfield and to the 46 yard line and that one coming on his opening carry of the season do you give him a mulligan you would like to but this game counts <laughs> if this were preseason he'd get a mulligan but this is for real so not expecting that at all gotta find a way to take care of it I'm sure he'll get other opportunities Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. That incompletion certainly slows things down a little bit and brings up a very important call for second and long. What do you do? Run and try and get some yardage and make it third manageable? Or challenge the coverage again, hoping for a bigger game? So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Mustang 19! Hurts. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. A good chance this is four-down territory if they're unable to convert. But right now looking at a third and three. They go play action with Hurts. And that will be incomplete. That's a nice job there because you've got to play the ball, not the man winning coverage. That'll keep you away from a lot of needless penalties. And he's able to knock that one away. And his kick is good. He got every bit of that one as it's good from 56 yards out. And they take a 17-14 lead. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll be backed up to start this drive as he's taken down right around the 15. At their own 15 yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And the ball backed way up. So thinking with this amount of time on the clock, probably just sit on it, and we'll see these two teams go to the lockers. Yeah, I don't think you want to overthink it in this situation. Either side of the ball. Just go ahead and finish up the half and get on it. He's got a man complete. Touchdown, Detroit. Jamison Williams with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Lions have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. The extra point splits the uprights, and that will make this a four-point game. So barring a touchback, this likely the final act of the half as the kick is away. Fielded just outside the goal line. So 
So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth, ready for quarter number three. We'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. Fields it right around the goal line. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here right at the 30-yard line. The Eagles offense had to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now they get the ball to start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Coming in, he really likes his chance of having a big year based on a terrific offseason. And runs like that on opening weekend show that he's right. Right back to Sanders on first down. And some room to maneuver. He'll get this one down near the 20 yard line, just shy of the 20. 52 yards rushing for him now on just his first three carries. Defense really kept him in check running the football in the first half. Maybe that'll be a spark for him here in half two. So two words come to mind for me. Resilient, because he has to keep bouncing back after some limiting runs. And how about relentless? Keep going, knowing that you may pop one as he just did there. But first down, Hurts. And this one complete to Smith. And they're going to get this down inside the 15. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and you can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him before he could get a good head of steam going. Three yards remain for second down. They'll run the jet sweep at Brown. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. They got two of the three they needed there. Leaves them with third and just a yard. Well, they gave up a few yards there, but all in all, that's a pretty nice job defensively against the jet sweep. If they don't slow him up, he might take it to the house. So they'll take that play every time on the defensive side of the ball. And the Lions going with an extra DB here on third down. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's got his man. It's the tight end, Goddard. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Eagles have retaken a third quarter lead. Elliott now to have the extra point. And that one gives him a three point lead. Makes the score Eagles 24, Lions 21. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And a fair catch signal for and take it successfully. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. 
And they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent, still the same in what they plan to do on it. Oh, wide open, complete. Touchdown, Detroit. Jared Goff with his third touchdown pass of the afternoon. And the Lions have taken the lead here in this third quarter. And we didn't even get a chance to settle in for that drive. A quick strike of 75 yards, and they find the end zone. Don't you get the sense that film study was behind this one, that they saw something that they thought they could take advantage of? The key is calling it in the right situation. Knowing when it exists to go to it, they did exactly that. They've got to feel really good about what they did in advance of this game. Just looking down at the sideline now, their defense is like, hey, can you strung that out just a few plays? Give us a break. Back out there. Hey, man, get that water break and get on out there and play. team on the field now as they will send this one away. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They had seized the lead there for a little bit with a starting drive in the third quarter, but a moment ago, the touchdown that puts them back behind. So their defense is under siege a little bit right now because they have not been able to solve their opponents. So they've got to keep hammering away on offense and try and win this one in what appears to be a shootout. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Play action. Here's Hurts. Oh, that'll be incomplete. Oh, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. So many times we've seen him try to escape the pocket and do something with his legs, but in this case, the pressure was too intense, and he made the wise choice to just get rid of the football and make sure no one was going to get it. Now a pass hauled in downfield. There he goes, left side. Touchdown. A.J. Brown, 72 yards. And the Eagles have retaken the lead. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts, <laughs> all right? Because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there. And off he went. Glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Elliott good with a PAT, and that gives him a three-point lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. offense ready to kick off their next drive well partner you know coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown sometimes that's not really true but last drive that was the case one play to get into the end zone and now they'll try to duplicate that success here and it's rare for those moments to happen incredible when they do and you saw the celebration pure un into a double team and it's intercepted Picked off by Hassan Reddick, and he takes this one back into the end zone, and the Eagles' defense.
defense gets a pick six TD. Well, that offense trying to erase that deficit, get a little bit closer here and climb back into this game in the third quarter. Instead, they further their disadvantage, Charles, with a pick six. And that defense came out willing to do anything necessary to defend that lead. I think they looked around the huddle and said, who's going to make the big play? Who's it going to be? And the person who just ended up in the end zone with the football, he was the one that answered the bell. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And not the first time that they're coming back out off of a turnover, but the last one really hurt Charles with that pick six. And it feels like the whole team's infected right now, doesn't it? It's not just been one person. It's kind of been a group effort where the mistakes have happened. Can they put that aside, kind of start over, and put together a nice drive? Well, no matter how they phrase it, staying on schedule, staying ahead of the sticks, whatever you want to call it, seven yards on first down, that fits the bill. From the 38, Goff. Over the middle, complete. It's Williams. And he'll have it past midfield, almost to the 40, before being taken down. That one good for 20 on the catch and run. That's a nice catch there. Remember, he had the fumble earlier. No way he was giving up the ball in that situation. Secured it tight to his body and picks up the first down. On first down, gone. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Well, after watching him ring the bell that many times and put the ball in the end zone, throwing it, he had to figure they had to bring some type of pressure. They had to change things up on defense. And able to get to him, put him on the ground, so maybe just something to throw him off a little bit. Yeah, that had to feel a lot better for the defensive guys. They've been getting carved up in this one. To finally knock him on the ground and force an incompletion, that's got to be a sigh of relief. Five yards, now it's third and five. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get out of your gaps. You don't fit the run quite as well because you're headed towards the ball carrier with the bandit. There's gone. He's got it to Williams. And this will not be enough. On third and five, he only gets three. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender. But a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. I think it's a feel thing. It's a tendency thing about what you like to do yourself on offense, as well as knowing how strong they are against the run on defense. Got to make a decision, and they made the correct one. They run out of the gun with Swift. And they get to him quickly here as he stops right around the 13. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. The last run. 
run good for two. Here's second and eight. Once again, it's Swift. And power running here down to the six-yard line. This has been an up-and-down, back-and-forth type of a game, hasn't it? Maybe this long drive take a little bit of the wind out of their sails, kind of settle things down a little bit. The offense on third down tonight, they have been superb. Five for six to this point. They're looking at third and a few inches. And he takes this one in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jared Goff scoring on the keeper from six yards out. And the Lions have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. So how about that for an answer? They get the touchdown there, and it's back to a one-score game here in the fourth. And that's what these guys have done all game long because they've scratched and slashed their way to stay in this game. And by now, we should all realize they're not going away. Now the pressure again swings to their defense because they're going to need to find some way to get the ball back. Extra point right down the middle. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. Here are the Lions now as they line up and kick this one away. Fielded just outside the goal line. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. He's at the 40. 20. And he'll bring it back all the way. Touchdown, Eagles. A big-time special teams play here in the fourth quarter to extend their lead. And coaches preach it all the time. If you can score on special teams, your chances of winning the game really jump up in a big way. Now, I'll let our analytics friends quantify it and give us the exact numbers, but that's what coaches talk about all the time, that extra momentum, that extra bounce you get from a special team score. I don't have any analytics friends. Those are your <laughs> friends. <laughs> I'll claim them. Jake Elliott to kick off for Philadelphia. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14 yard line. At their own 14 yard line. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. And you figure after giving up that last touchdown, you know, they trail by two scores here in the fourth quarter. This drive becomes very critical. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets his football out shy of the 30 to the 29. 84 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. First and 10 at the 29 yard line. On first and ten, gone. Sharks got it, left side. Oh, able to avoid him. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. Boy, a pair of big plays here. This one going for 29. Every well, drive from here is definitely crucial and critical. They know that they need to get at least three here to get it back to a one score game. But I can't imagine that in their huddle, that they're thinking at all about getting a field goal. They want to get into the end zone and then try and get the ball back again. Play action. It's gone. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Well, someone is certainly having a big game. And while that sack doesn't quite have the splash of his pick six from earlier, you know he's thrilled to be making big plays during a great individual effort today. So that complicates things a bit here. 18 yards to go now on second down. Another try after the first down sack. Golf. And he'll be hit as he releases it. And that'll fall incomplete. 
Pressure really ratcheting up. They get the sack on first down. Then a near sack, they got to him there just as it was leaving his hand. Yeah, they might need to change their pass protection scheme a little bit. Maybe bring another guy into the backfield to help protect the quarterback because that was awfully close. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. A play fake for Swift, now gone. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Third down is a down. Both sides know they absolutely have to win. And the name of the game for the defense is pressure on the quarterback. But pressure on the quarterback with contact? That's how you end up winning it. Desperation time for Goff on fourth. He's going to float this one deep right side. And incomplete on the deep ball. The Lions turned away on fourth down. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called a good number of games over the course of our career where we've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle does occur. So they can't let that dream go just yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Off the play fake. Here's Hurts. Looking right sideline, that's complete. He's going to go out of bounds, but he takes this one down just shy of the 20. That one good for 26 and a first down. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. And this is caught. Touchdown, Philadelphia. A.J. Brown. His second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth quarter lead. Elliott good on the extra point. And that'll make this a three-score game now. The lead moves to 17. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. At their own 24 yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. They'll be brought down on the 30-yard line after a gain of six. You got the big lead defensively. I'm willing to get them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 23 yards, the pick up there. A three-score game here late. You can probably rule out the comeback, but certainly some kind of a moral victory to be had if they can get a few more points to close things out. And to that end, a nice pass play there to push things downfield. Yeah, and we know in this league, a loss is a loss, and no one wants anything to count as a moral victory or, boy, something that feels a little bit cheap. But they trim that lead down to just two scores. That's still a benefit to this squad. And there's a completion to the tight end. And look at the size of these players now. At that spot, 6'4", 6 6'5", 6 and up. A lot of guys used to be basketball players, somehow came back to football. And that's really good for the game of football. You get better athleticism, great hand-eye coordination, guys who know how to control their bodies when they run their routes. To the air again, Goff. Wright's got it. Oh, he's got a little daylight. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside. 
inside the 20. 22 yards on the catch and run, a first down. Well, I can put my defensive cap on right now, and I know they're saying don't give up any big plays now. They control this game throughout, and all they want to do is see it through to the end. I think they let their guard down a little bit with that last completion. Sometimes when you're trying not to give up bigger plays, you don't react as fast as you should on other throws. Throwing on second and eight, Goff. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the Aaron pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. Seventh play of the drive, forthcoming on third and eight. Now gone. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tire. And the Eagles are going to get the football here as the ball will come out to the 20. Well, the field goals probably aren't going to cut it at this point. This was touchdown or bust, and unfortunately for them, it turned out to be bust. Yeah, they're feeling like they've got to force the issue here. Maybe take some chances they wouldn't have earlier in the game. But give credit hey, to this defense. They really three, stood three. tall throughout, and they come up with the interception in the end zone. Oh, he's got some breathing room. And he's going to get this one across the 30-yard line. 66 yards rushing for him now, and he's carried the ball just five times. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. And the scoreboard on their side, they're just looking to melt away these final couple of minutes and put this one in the left-hand column. On first and 10, it's Sanders. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Give him 10 yards on the pickup, and that'll make it second and a foot or so. I had to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now, I can be in that hole with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. He winds up giving a yard back there, and now it's third and two. Now, that's a nice play. It got me fired up, Carter. But can they do it back-to-back -back plays? All the training that you go through as a defense for these situations, when you have to get the ball back, everything you go through, holding up the runner, raking up the football, getting to the passer, knocking it out of his hands, whatever way, they have to get the ball back. Now can they stand tall again for a huge fourth quarter stop? And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. We All together, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and ten. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. And that was a quality play to start a new set of downs. That was simply an offensive line winning the battle up front and winning in a big way and giving their guy in the backfield a nice lane to hit. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Another run here with Sanders. And he'll be taken down at the 20 after a gain of just one. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has a real priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Here's Hurts to throw. This will be caught by Brown. And he's going to be a yard short. Needed four, but got three. A CD always a little extra excitement for week one, and one of our early window games here in week one on a Sunday comes to a close. Good to be back in the booth with you, my friend.
And it's good to be back in the booth with you as well. And we know that not everyone's going to start the season 1-0, right? Half the league is going to have a loss on their record. But everyone's got to build off of that opener. And how many coaches tell us every single year, you make your most progress between week one and week two. We'll see how both of these teams progress the rest of the season. So for the Eagles, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they will head home next week to take on the Minnesota Vikings. Meanwhile, for the Lions, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they will be back home next week for a date with Washington. 